Salutations all, this is Basic Public Speaking and I am Christy Thomas and this video is the video with the description and requirements for your main speech one. Now, don't worry that the first main speech is due at the end of week two. So the due date for the speech is by midnight on Sunday, January the 22nd. This technical requirements for the speech this is such a chill speech in that regard. There's no outline due. There is no set time limit. This is just an introduction speech. What I mean by that, you're introducing yourself to me in this speech. There are five, five highlights, five points, whatever you want to call it, that I would like for you to discuss or hit in this speech. So, or five topic points. Anyway, the first one is just introduce yourself. Hi, hello, salutations, good day, whatever you may say, and then your name. Okay, give me your name that's listed on my roster, as I would see it appear on my roster. But also, this is where you can interject what you prefer to be called. If you go by a middle name or a nickname or just have another name in general that you would like to go by, please insert that here so that I can start making that connection from the name you give me to the roster name so that in the future in speeches down the road, I am, can ensure that I give you the correct credit. Okay, so key point one, highlight one, topic point, either way, one, introduce yourself. Just say hi. I am Jewel Crown. I don't know. I'm just making up names. Hi, I'm Ricky Bobby. Hi, I'm Bailey Sarian. You know, <laughs> introduce yourself. Your second key point or highlight topic is I want to know about your future self. And what I mean by this, if you are working towards a specific degree, Say you're going for nursing or you're going for animatronics. I know I'm just throwing out different degrees here, folks. Um, you're getting your welding certification. Whatever you're seeking. If you know it, let me know. Or if you're moving on to a four-year program after you finish up with this, this program, tell me that. Or, or you can even, and or, you can do both or all of the above. Tell me. A dream job, a dream career for you. Is it to open your own business and sell bait? Is it to have your own makeup line? Is it to have your own shoe line? Is it to write novels? Is it to be an artist? Or maybe a dream degree you wanted, like when you were younger. Like when I was younger, I had two career paths in my mind. One, I was going to be an actress or I was going to be in the entertainment industry because I went from being an actress to wanting to be a makeup artist to being a costume designer. So, you know, I flip flop or I also wanted to be an archeologist. Just, I was determined I was going to be an archeologist and I would discover Atlantis. <laughs> I know. What can I say? Anyway, so here, I just want you to talk about maybe it's the degree you're, you're seeking or it's the school you're wanting to go to. And if money was no object, time was no object, and you could pursue any degree or go to any school or have any career you wanted whatsoever, what would that be? What would a dream job, career path, future goals, you know, perhaps your goal is to be a stay-at-home parent or perhaps your dream goal is to be a professional athlete, you know, this just tells me fun things about future you. So, so far our key points are introduce yourself and future, future endeavors, future world. Now, the next key point is, if you see me looking off to the side of my computer here, it's got my, my notes. I have all the <laughs> set up here. Discuss something known about you. This is something commonly or widely or easily known about you. So, to any friends or family, significant others, whatever the case may be, here people know this about you. So, it could be a sport. Perhaps you were a cheerleader all through elementary, middle, high school, 
or perhaps you're on a dance team, perhaps you play basketball, or perhaps it's a job, you know, or perhaps it's because of who your older sibling is or who your parent is, or in the case of Eastern Kentucky, who your grandparents are, you know. I don't know if that comes in case, oh, you're so-and-so's granddaughter or so-and-so's grandson, da da da, -da. Anyway, um, something everyone knows, or maybe it's you, everyone knows you as the artist, or maybe everyone knows you as because of the car you drive, or just your hobbies or endeavors, something that everyone knows about you. Um, so again, let's, the first three is your, introduce yourself. The second one, talk about the future world of yourself, and then discuss something on the third one that everyone commonly knows about you. Now, on the fourth one, this is something not widely, wide, widely, there we go, sorry, widely known. Now, I do not need to know deepest, darkest secrets. You don't have to share that with me. But perhaps it's something as, maybe you like to paint and not everyone knows that about you. Or maybe you love to bake and not everyone knows that about you. Like a few people know. And this is something that maybe people don't know until they really get to know you. Or perhaps you like to play guitar. That you play guitar or, or an in, any instrument. You know, it's something known, but not not as known as what we previously talked about. So, and finally, on your five key points for your speech of introduction, tell me what brings you joy. What brings you joy? What makes you smile? What brings a calm to your world? What just makes you happy? And this can be anything. If it's just sitting in your room or your car or your house and vegging out and watching TV or playing video games or reading a book or just listening to music, if that brings you joy, if going on a hike or lounging by the pool or going on vacation, if that brings you joy, then so be it. If working on cars, going fishing, doing make what whatever makes you smile. What brings a smile to your face? What lights up your soul? Talk about that here. So let's recap this again on the five points I want you to hit. Introduce yourself. Pretty straightforward. Give me the roster name and what you prefer to go by. Two, let's discuss future endeavors of your world. What you want to be, what you're working towards, or it could be a career, a dream, career, aspiration, or where you would go to school if money was no object in time. Or if there, if there was no objectivity to money or location. If you have a family and you could pack them up and take them anywhere for you to go to school or have this job. What would you do? You know, just future. Have fun with this one. Also, discuss something known about you. Why, widely known that anyone can say about you. Oh, they were a on the academic team. That was da-da-da-da. Then discuss something not as wild, widely, I keep saying wildly, wide, widely, <laughs> sorry, no. So this is something that people know, but they really don't know these things until they get to know you. So it could just be hobbies that aren't as, oh, you're out in the open with, or what, or a job, or whatever, you know, maybe you volunteer your time with the Girl Scouts of America. And maybe not everybody knows that because it's just something you don't think, you know, it doesn't come across to you to talk about anyway. And then finally, discuss what brings you what brings you joy. What makes you smile? What makes you happy? What is the calm in the chaos in your world? So, there is no outline, nor is there a time limit for this speech. I just want you to chat and introduce yourself. This is just us. Think about it easing into the water. We're not jumping head first and having all the re technical requirements such as outlines and citations and this and that and that. We're building that. Remember, these speeches, the main speeches, we're building that foundation up in requirements and set in skill sets as we build up. You know, we're just working our way up. No biggie, nothing scary. We're gonna get through this. All right, with that being said, um, just have fun. Be chill. We're working on finding our voice and opening ourselves up. Well, I guess just to me because I'm the only one watching these videos. Anyway, folks, if you have any questions over this speech 
or anything else that's just please reach out to me and I will get back to you and we'll chat about it. Anyway, I hope that you have an amazing week and thank you so much. Bye.